Hi everyone, Meister here again. This time I thought uh, I will make another uh, how-to video. Before it was the motor show video, it was a little different and uh, usually like on my channel there are events, there are uh, how-to videos and such, su uh, such uh, so on. And uh, this time I will uh, change the one uh, uh, keyless sensor on my door handle on my A8 and uh, two LEDs, uh, one on the left uh, left uh, rear and uh, one is on the right uh, front and uh, I bought uh, uh, parts already and uh, uh, the keyless system is not working right now because because there there is a error on one one of the sensors I have to open a closed uh, doors uh, from the remote uh, I will show you this uh, after after the intro and uh, this uh, problem is uh, on uh, most of the Audi models uh, from uh, A8, wait, uh, A4, A5, A6, A8, A7, uh, what has uh, the keyless sensors to open and close the doors. So this uh, video goes, uh, is similar for uh, all the cars. You can use it uh, to fix the other cars, uh, not just the A8, but yeah. Uh, now uh, I will uh, show you the process and uh, let's start uh, dismantling and let's fix it. Right now the doors are closed. Usually when the sensor works you can uh, open this uh, when you pr put the hand inside the door handle. But now it's not working. I will take the remote and uh, open the doors. Now it's working. and. Uh, from here you have to remove this plastic cover there is a torx uh, what you have to loosen up uh, then you have to pry this uh, part out and uh, then uh, the door handle comes out like this uh, no, you move it out and uh, then you can uh, open the door handle LED part and uh, start dismantling but uh, I will start the process now I will mention this uh, this is uh, my first time uh, to do this but uh, always when you remove plastic trim or something uh, from the metal surfaces always use uh, plastic trim removal tools so you won't damage the metal so it uh, always is beautiful here I will show you is a Torx. Mm, yeah, uh, it seems it's uh, maybe T20. I will check. To open this Torx, you need a T20 Torx. Just unscrew it. It won't come out uh, all the way. And uh, then take the plastic trim removal tool again and uh, put the plastic trim removal between this I'll try to remove it and I fiddled with this part and uh, to get the door handle out but uh, the trick is here that uh, you unscrew the T20 Torx and uh, push it in a little bit and uh, when you push it in then the part comes out mm, for the right side there is no uh, screw uh, hole when well, no, a keyhole and uh, there is nothing behind this now I will remove this part move it a little bit on the back side and uh, then just I hope you see I will put this there if you push this little back and uh, then just pull it aside if this part is out then you just take it out like this there are a lot of connectors here <laughs> one is for the LED one is for the sensor I will unplug them all and I will show you it's hard to do it uh, with uh, one hand uh, filming and other hand is <laughs> taking them out now if the parts are out you see the LED is here what is broken 
usually the glass is all, all cracked up but this gla glass is <laughs> fine but the LED is not working and uh, now I need to pry this part up no, take it uh, off and uh, pull the sensor out and uh, the LED also and uh, let's hope uh, everything starts working to open uh, these uh, pins that are holding the connectors you need to just push it from one side from the hole give it a little pressure I fiddled a little bit and uh, the sensors came out, they were uh, quite tight here, so I think the original uh, sensor is uh, inside this uh, handle. Now you need to pry this part out and uh, then uh, pull the sensor up. I will try to do it and uh, I hope I can film it. One socket is holding your hole, so I need to open this up. Yeah, both uh, sockets are out. Now I can pull this part out. You need to remove this part also, because it's stopping the wires and the sockets to go through. This is the LED part. No, it's not dismantled, but uh, no, it's not broken. But uh, I think the LED is uh, gone from here. Now it's about the sensor. Oh, someone has already changed the sensors. It seems because uh, the other parts uh, have the. Uh, plastic uh, what is visible no but uh, the newer parts are broken I can see if the manufacturing date is on it it's made in France but yeah now I will take the new part I have the new sensor no they are the similar and uh, I will uh, put the new sensor in and let's put the LED in. If the sensor is pushed in, then it should be flat, uh, so nothing won't get in. Then you need to put the clips back in. They are just pushed in. When uh, the sensor is in, then you need to put the LED in. I have to check uh, which LED is which, because uh, there are two, two different types. Uh, well, this is a shorter one. Yes, this part is right. I've, uh, seen, that, I've seen that uh, there are a few cracks on the sides of the LED. Maybe this this why the LED broke. But yeah, now let's put this part in. It was a little fiddling job to get the LED inside here because it goes in from a, from an angle and I didn't want to break anything so now the LED is inside the LED wire goes under the sensor wire now let's put the part back here then the clips clips in and now let's push the wires down and put the sensor in someone has been here already because one of the clip is broken but uh, no it's keeping the sensor anyway it's uh, in one place so it won't move but yeah now let's uh, put this uh, door handle back in and uh, let's see is everything working
I forgot to say that uh, when you put this uh, door handle back, and there's the mechanism what uh, opens the door, you need to pull this on your side and uh, then push this part all the way up and uh, so it will uh, lock the mechanism in place. Then uh, put the door handle in and uh, then uh, uh, put uh, this part in and uh, then uh, just uh, uh, screw the part, you know, the bolt uh, all the way in and uh, this uh, opens up this part. Maybe you wonder uh, when you put this uh, lock mechanism in, it won't open the door, but uh, when you no, push this uh, bolt all the way in, uh, then it uh, no, opens the lock mechanism uh, to this side and uh, then you can open the door. That part I forgot to say uh, before. It seems uh, I didn't uh, need to remove the <coughs> fault code uh, from the menu because it is uh, working. I can test the LED right now because it's a little white outside. But now I need to uh, fix the other part. <laughs> yeah, other sensors, everything is working. Now I have to need, I need to fix this part because uh, I can't see, I hope you can see something. This LED is uh, gone also. Uh, now I know how to take them apart and uh, I will change this uh, LED also. If you know how to remove it already, then it's easy. Now I just need to unclip this uh, sensor part, remove the LED from here, replace it with another one and that's it. Then I can put it all back together and uh, I hope uh, when everything is getting uh, dark uh, I can make a beautiful shot uh, how every LED is working. Now the LEDs have been changed. It's getting dark already. The sun is almost uh, down and uh, I finished the uh, LED and the sensor part. And the rear uh, uh, door handle uh, removal was a little bit trickier because uh, the screw what you need to unscrew and uh, push it in a little bit, it's uh, deeper inside. So you need a lead, little extension to get it uh, through the screw. But yeah, uh, now I will put everything back together here. No, clean the car and uh, remove the tools and everything. But uh, if the sun is uh, all, all down and everything is dark, then I will make a little uh, beauty clip uh, in the end of this video. And uh, for this, if you like this content, hit like, hit subscribe, like always. And uh, if you think uh, something about this video or any of my videos, feel free to comment. The mosquitoes are very angry. <laughs> But yeah, uh, now I will clean and uh, see you soon on the next video. Bye!